Tim found a piggy bank in the back of his closet that he hadn't seen in years. He decided to use it to save up for a summer vacation by depositing $57 in the piggy bank every month and after three months he counted the amount of money in the piggy bank and found he had $193. The first question is how much money did Tim have in the piggy bank before he started making monthly deposits? So the first thing to recognize here is that because the savings amount is increasing at a constant rate of $57 per month, we can use a linear function to model this situation. Where a linear function in slope-intercept form would be in the form of y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope or a constant rate of change, and b is the vertical intercept or the point zero comma b, where b is the function value when the input is zero. So again, because he's depositing $57 in the piggy bank every month, the slope of the linear function, m, is $57 per month, or just 57. Next, after three months, we have the savings amount, which represents an ordered pair. Since the time is three months, we'd have three comma, the savings amount of $193. And because we're working with a function s of t, we could say when t equals three, s of t, equals 193. So to determine how much money was in the piggy bank before he started making monthly deposits, we want to find the savings amount when time equals zero, or find the output when the input is zero. Notice how this would be the vertical intercept of the linear function. There's a couple ways of doing this. Logically, if after three months we know the savings amount is $193, and he's saving $57 per month. If we want to go back in time three months, we have to subtract three times 57. So this would give us 193 minus 171, which equals 22. Which means when time t equals zero, the savings amount was $22. So that means Tim had $22 in the piggy bank before we started making monthly deposits. We could also answer this question using the equation of our linear function. So let's show this another way. A linear function s of t would have to be in the form of s of t equals the slope m, or 57, times t plus b, where again b is the starting amount or the function value when t equals zero. So using this ordered pair we could substitute 193 for s of t, and three for t. So we'd have 57 times three plus b. And now we can solve for b, recognizing that would be the amount of money in the piggy bank before he started making deposits. So we have 193 equals 171 plus b. Subtract 171 from both sides. Notice how we get the same value, b equals 22. Looking at the next part, we're asked about a linear function that represents the situation, and we just found all the information that we needed. We already knew the slope, and we just found the vertical intercept, or y-intercept, which is equal to 22. So our linear equation is s of t equals 57t plus 22. Now there is one more part to this question on the next slide. Tim decides he needs $649 for his vacation. Find the value of t where s of t equals 649. We're asked to write the answer as an ordered pair and then complete this sentence. We just found the linear function s of t equals 57t plus 22. So to answer this question, we'll substitute 649 for s of t and solve for t. So we'd have 649 equals 57t plus 22. To solve for t, we subtract 22 on both sides. So we have 627 equals 57t. Divide both sides by 57. And we have t equals 11. Now remember, as an ordered pair, the first coordinate is t, the second coordinate is s of t. So the solution as an ordered pair would be 
open parenthesis, 11, comma, 649, close parenthesis. So, after depositing $57 per month for 11 months, Tim will have enough money for his vacation, which we know cost $649. I hope you found this helpful.